This is V from a Canadian RVer, where we are today at the Tampa RV Show, and we're here with the travel trailers of Eddie Bauer. Hey guys, welcome. My name is Alex. I work for Heartland, and we're actually the individuals who manufacture the Eddie Bauer line. Um, what you're looking here is our ultra smooth aluminum. Um, this product is sold um, exclusively at Camping World, uh, which is nice. So there's over 200 locations in the United States. Um, what's a little bit different about this is we tried to have all the features that you'd want in a camper um, at an aggressive price point. And you'll, when you look inside, you'll see something that's a little bit different than um, some of the conventional trends and looks that we've been seeing, right? So first and foremost, if we talk about the construction, obviously you'll note here, it kind of looks like the exterior of a house, right? What that is, it's an ultra smooth aluminum sidewall. So um, it has, a, it's about 30% thicker than you'd see on aluminum sided campers. Um, and it's also a little bit bigger as well. Um, what's nice about the particular Eddie Bauer model is your front cage here, that's gonna be aluminum framed and the rest is gonna be wood framed. So oh, nice. oftentimes when you think about aluminum sided campers, it's usually wood framed throughout the entire coach with, with some exceptions. What's nice about this one, if you guys are familiar with the Pioneer by Heartland, um, same sort of concept right, here where the right. front cage here has that aluminum framing, okay? As we continue on, what's nice about these, we have three floor plans currently, um, two bunk models. There's a 34 BHS and a 34 BSBH. And then what we're about to walk in here, this is a front kitchen model. What's really nice is every floor plan that we have right now, they all have some sort of outdoor kitchen. Uh, what's somewhat rare is oftentimes when you look at uh, couples coaches, like we're seeing here, uh, sometimes you don't see those outdoor kitchens. It is somewhat rare to have a couples coach that has that outdoor kitchen, which I think is a really, really nice feature and a nice touch. Um, as we walk in here, I will call out, we have uh, Goodyear tires, E-rated tires. Um, again, that's standard, really nice product, really quality and, and, and well built. Yeah, it's always nice to have a yep. good tire on them, absolutely. Yep. Two sort of hidden construction features that you'll note on Eddie Bauer campers. First and foremost, you're gonna have galvanized metal in your wheel wells, okay? So why that's important is because oftentimes, usually when it comes to tires, it's not a matter of if, but a matter of when, right? Yeah. As far as blowouts are concerned. If you don't have something here, you could potentially cause damage to the underbelly of your right, coach right. or floor decking, right? So having that there makes a big, big difference. And that's gonna be on all Heartland campers uh, for the most part. As we talk about that too, also on all of your slide outs, you're gonna have a plasti dip finish here underneath all of your slide outs. So it's gonna be similar to what you'd see in like the bed of a Rhino Lino truck. Oh, very nice. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, so it's, it's much more durable. And, and usually when you think about vulnerability as far as campers, this is one of the more vulnerable spots, right? Because this slides running in and out over time. Right. If you don't have something to protect this, water will get in there, then it will rot out. And that's a very costly fix. Yeah, okay? and I see what you're doing. Is, uh, your, your drive is some kind of an electric motor that uh, is a, a drive on the bottom. As far as the slide out is concerned? Slide, yes. Yep, so we call it a rack and pinion system. Rack and pinion, that's yes, what sir. I'm trying to say. Yeah. Yep, yep. You'll note we have our solid surface steps by Moride, makes it very easy to get in and out of the camper. <coughs> As we walk in, you can see it's a little bit of a different feel and a little bit of a different vibe than what you'd see on most campers, yeah, like I mentioned nice. previously, right? So we have some deep greens. Uh, we have champagne bronze here as far as our fixtures are concerned. Oh, that's very slick. Yeah, so again, these are press countertops. Uh, you'll have press countertops throughout the camper. You'll also note here we have an actual backsplash, right? So that's not yeah. a wrap or anything like that. That's an actual backsplash. So it is an upgraded kitchen. If you look right here also, look at the oh, size of this refrigerator. Nice. Yes. Okay. So this is a 12 volt. It's a 16 cubic foot refrigerator. Wow. That's essentially the size you'd see in fifth wheels, right? Yes. Yeah. When it comes to travel trailers, that's not very common to have a refrigerator that big. Yes. So uh, two freezers or fr uh, fridge yep. freezer? Fridge freezer. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Um, Booth dinette, what's kind of nice to, is a little bit different in this particular model, is you'll have openings here. Oftentimes this is closed off. When we would camp as kids, we'd always have shoes pile up yes. at the door, right? So having this here, put a Tupperware container, you also have storage here nice. underneath your cushion, cushion as well. Very nice. Um, you obviously have your uh, pantry here, oh, pretty tall. Wow. So big. And that's again, right next to the fridge, yeah. so it makes it really easy to get in and out. All these will have 50 amp service and are prepped for a second air conditioner. A 50 amp service? Yeah, all, all three of the floor plans that we have now are all 50 amp service. Wow. Yes, sir. Fireplace is standard, smart TV standard. One air conditioner is standard? Yep, it'll be, from the factory, it'll be 113.5K BTU. 13, Co yeah. Coleman MOX is what we're using right now. Right on. Right yep, on. yep, and that'll be H duct ventilation throughout the camper as well. Wow, um, that's, yes. Yeah. That, that's really a nice plus too, just to have the, uh, the in the ceiling vents. Yep, exactly. And you'll also know when we're talking about heating and air, um, there's no vents on the floor. All of your vents are built into the cabinetry of the camper, right? So that helps it keep, we say it's very pet 
and kid friendly, right? Again, because there's no vents in the floor. Right, right. All your vents are built in the cabinetry. No carpet either. Even your slide out here, sometimes you'll see that mesh. We actually had an overlay with the same floor decking. So it looks really, really good and really, really smooth when you're thinking about how the camper is I love how that built. also goes down to flat. Like it's, yeah. it's... It will sit flush for sure. Yeah. Uh, moving back. Again, we're in the front kitchen here. This will be your master bathroom. You have actual porcelain toilets. Okay. Oh, learning, yeah. Also, you have your ABS shower surround, right? I'm six foot tall. Yeah, Plenty of space size. for me to get in here. So again, that's that's not an issue as far Very as that's nice, concerned, yeah. right? Nice, nicely appointed. Yep, yeah, exactly. Uh, obviously, you have some storage here. Storage below as well. Obviously, some here and then up and down as well. Yeah, again, still press countertops throughout here, and you'll see that throughout the camper as I previously mentioned. I got backup. Two other things that are really awesome. First and foremost, all floor plans of this will be prepped for washer dryer. Oh, okay. very nice. Yeah, so all of them so will be I prepped see, yeah, for washer got, dryer. Yeah, the receptacle there, and just uh, the plumbing would have to be uh, just uh, put in. Yep, so it's plumbed and everything ready to go. Very nice. Um, queen size residential bed. This is something that's kind of different and a little bit new. Check this out. We have a kennel oh. and a dog bowl here as well. That okay? is too yeah. slick. <laughs> yeah. I love that. Uh, so that's kind of cool. Could You could use cats or dogs, uh, maybe an unruly husband or yeah. husband, you know. <laughs> But if that's very, be. very nice. Yep. So that's the other slide out that we have. So total slides is what? In this one, we have two slides. Two slides. Two slides, yes, sir, in the front kitchen model. And I love what you've done with the back. Uh, that storage space galore. That's big vanity a, there. Again, yeah, very big, nice big to ability have. To, to, to have storage total there. Total weight. This uh, one is, they're all right around 8,500 pounds 80, and, and right around 38 uh, inches in length. Oh, beautiful. You, you can beautiful. add or take away on each floor plan, but they're all right in that area. What would you recommend to tow this? Um, at probably at least a three-quarter ton. Three-quarter ton? At, at least, yeah. It all kind of depends when it comes to towing, um, what year it is and what towing package you have. But uh, most half-ton towables are not usually in that market. So yeah, yeah. some of the newer ones you can, but uh, yeah. I would say at least a three-quarter ton or one ton or a two-ton. Yeah, ton, so, yeah. yeah. Well, thank you so much, Alex. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Uh, this is V from a Canadian Art.